Time to return to this week's challenge. Now, John joined us for the next stage, which meant that the three of us were now sat on a beautiful Welsh hummock, waiting to see what the gadget show boys and girls had planned for us. Nice of you to turn up for the jolly jaunt. Yes, a bit of a stroll in the country. I thought it would be rather nice. <laughs> John brought envelopes for each of us, and more importantly, our instructions. Here we go. Now, dear presenters, the next test is very simple. You'll be testing three of the latest and best handheld GPS Ooh. devices. Hurrah! I have the sat map Active 10, which incorporates genuine full quality ordnance survey maps. I had Garmin's Colorado 300. Released at the start of the year, its GPS receiver is apparently one of the most accurate in the world. And lastly, I had the Magellan Explorer 600. The most basic of the three, but also the simplest to use. We were each blindfolded and driven to separate start points, equidistant from the finish. The winner would be the first person to cross the finishing line. Oh. Waiting for us were a series of coordinates and an instruction sheet. We each had to program a route and follow it back to base as quickly as possible. The easiest to use and the most accurate would be the winner. Three, two, one, go! Coordinates! Excellent. My God! Each set of numbers represented a point we had to reach along the route, a waypoint, which was the first test. How easy are these GPSs to program? Using the little joystick and the mark button took me about 30 seconds to type in each set of coordinates. Once you get the hang of it, it's, it's quite simple. Mine, on the other hand, was not so simple. The Garmin's control system, the rock and roller jog wheel, is supposed to make one-handed operation simple, but I found it laborious. It wasn't a speedy process. Batteries low! Look, I was going to run out of batteries before I put all my bloody points in! <laughs> Things couldn't have been more different with my sat map. This has got a really nice feature. It's got this kind of where am I function. So you press one button here, bottom left, and it shows you where you are. It's crossroads, see it? There. It's all good. Then it was just a matter of scrolling across the extremely detailed 25,000 to 1 scale ordnance survey map until the numbers matched up. Done. 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 Such a simple process that each set only took about 15 seconds and I was ready to go in just under five minutes. OK. As Jason burst into action, I still had a few coordinates left to type in. I finished those. Right, brilliant, that's the last one. And ten minutes after I started, I was on my way. Right, onwards. It couldn't be more beautiful. After my battery debacle, it was a hefty 21 minutes before I was underway. Let's go, let's go. I need to be going over here. Meanwhile, I was tearing through the course, thanks to the sat map. It's great. The ordnance survey map has evolved over many years. And it's designed so that you can just look at it like a tube map and get all the information you want, thanks to colours and all kinds of simple symbols. That combined with satellite tracking is an unbeatable combination. We need to be down there. My Magellan had nowhere near the detail of Jason's map, so it was trickier to follow at first. But there's a compass mode which has a target on it, which tells you which way to go, as well as another handy feature. Look, my alarm's going off. I'm at waypoint five. Little tiny alarm, very quiet, but tells you you're going the right way which was more than could be said for me. See, now it's pointing down there. This is ridiculous. We've been walking for quite some time in this direction, but it's telling me that the car where we started is over there, whereas I know for a fact it's over there, 180 degrees in the opposite direction. The Garmin's fairly basic map does have all the essential features on it, contours, streams, tracks, etc. It just didn't seem to update quickly enough for me to be sure I was heading the right way. OK, straight line. I was having no problems whatsoever. My sat map was accurately updating my position as I ran, leading me to the exact points I'd been given. I approached the final waypoint in record time, only to be confronted by a major obstacle, a raging torrent of a river. As I was left to find a way across, Susie was gaining ground. While Jason thought through his options, I got ever nearer. In the end, there was only one way I could see to guarantee victory. The river had held me up, and it was going to be very close. But me and the sat had done enough. 
Yeah, 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 this is it. Look. There it is. But when I arrived, I had just one question. Where's John? Absolutely no idea. John, it's Susie and Jace. Where are you? I think that was help me. No idea where I am, though. Worse, the sun was setting and things weren't looking good. My geography teacher, Mr Bruce, always advised me. The Welsh countryside was no place to be after dark without an adequate supply of provisions. Ah, so I opted to abandon the Garmin and hitch a ride instead. The bigger things of the gadget, Phil. We would just like to make the point here that that was a genuine person that was giving him a yes, he did actually yes, have and a very pitch. keen viewer as well. You were good. lost, weren't you? Uh, yes, thanks to this, yes. actually, which is just amazingly <laughs> slow to react. We're used to sat-navs in cars reacting more or less instantly. This takes minutes to react to your change in a position. Well, actually, yeah. I, that's the problem I felt with this. It didn't calibrate quick enough for me. Jace, yours was by far it the best. It was blissful. I mean, from the moment I entered the uh, coordinates in, it was really easy to do, just moving the jog wheel around. I could operate it easily with these big, chunky uh, buttons using gloves. So it's really revolutionary. Sort of the iPhone of personal sat-navs. Uh, absolutely. That's exactly what it is. Anyway, it's now time for...